Hey everyone, back live and kicking. So sorry about that. But like I said, today um, I've been privileged by the strong digital team to speak on community and versus audience. I'm gonna speak from it from a particular paradigm, but I wanna um, first of all introduce myself. My name is Ayakuna Duni. Um, I'm a husband to one wife, Susan Demers Duni, my father, recent father, um, to Josias. I'm also a writer, um, a creative mentor, and um, a leader. These are the six titles so far <laughs> that I have. Um, and this is what I do. And this is what I would say qualifies me to probably even speak on this topic of community versus audience. Um, as you can see, I run an organization called Four Twelve Men, which is a men's community um, focused on building community amongst men, i.e. relationships, um, 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 focusing on practicing accountability and taking responsibility, you know, pursuing godly manhood. Now, out of that, um, I also birthed something called Groom to Husband, as I've seen over the five years of running Four Twelve Men, I've seen a lot of guys come in single, um, become girlfriend, boyfriend, engaged, and, and now husband. So we wanted to provide a space to discuss the transition between being married, um, sorry, being single to being married, what that looks like. Just help prepare them and help also foster a new community for them in the context of being husbands. Um, I'm also a pastor with my wife. We lead um, a church called A New Thing London, uh, a kind and creative family, which is passionate about all things Christ and creativity and my vocation, my trade, um, how I make my money and how I express my creative um, abilities is my business called a and o Studios. Um, I'm an award-winning international photographer. This will be my ooh, 11th year of um, actually doing photography. So I've been doing it since I finished university and it brings me great joy. So that's a bit about what I do. Um, as you can see, um, all these things have one thing in common, um, and that is they are communities built and audiences reached for a particular purpose. Uh, I want to underline and specifically hone in on this word purpose because that has to be the thing that hinges everything we're doing. If we're going to see our communities that we're seeking to build last, if we're going to actually reach an audience, there has to be an underlying purpose. I know most of us are believers, so there has to be a burden, you know, a vision, something birthed that is greater than us, that is serving something greater than us that will um, affect the lives of those around us. So community versus audience is a very nice, catchy title. Um, I'm not going to come from a, a, a perspective of pinning them against each other. I'm, I'm actually going to look at how both of them intertwine together. Um, I want to talk about building a community and reaching an audience. You know, I feel like uh, and we can all probably agree that all communities at their inception were probably first an audience that has bought into a message that has made them a part of something um, which now allows them to become a community. And I want to talk about this from a point of principles. Um, so I'm not gonna um, necessarily give you all the digital know-how and e-how. I'm gonna really go from a place of, of you having raw materials that you can translate. I know this conference has been amazing. There's been so many gifted speakers that have spoken about so many different tools and ways of doing things. I wanna speak about the tangible things that are going to allow us to use those to the best of our ability. So I've broken down from my experience. Um, I've built Fortra for five years. My church is three years next month. Um, and going to husband is about four years old. Um, so those are like three areas um, that I have experience in when it comes to reaching an audience and building a community. And these are the three kind of main stages that I've so far discovered in my short tenor of, of what we kind of need to, um, to have if we're going to reach an audience and build a community. I put down here authenticity, consistency, and innovation. So the first point is be authentic. This is how I believe 
we can reach an audience. Um, everybody, you, me, everyone, every single person on this planet has a story. Um, and I believe that this story that you have um, will, will, is, your, is your touch point in reaching and touching someone. And this someone here, we can put into a plural, being an audience. I found with my whole burden for 412 men was that I was seriously passionate about seeing um, Christian men grow in maturity. Christian men seeking community. I thought that there were so many um, women's events everywhere. Uh, and I, I didn't see anything from men. And I knew my own story where I only was able to grow up and only able to mature. And I was only able to find healing and, and identity in the company of other men that I looked up to. And I realized that there was a consistent theme here where I was in a place of community where I was able to heal and grow. And there's so many men going through so many things that may not know how to get there, but me knowing the journey that I've been on, how about I start something that can create a space where men can be whole. Um, so I saw that the way I was able to reach an audience and, and just gather an audience was me being authentic, sharing my story. You know, I think there's a famous saying about, um, People won't remember what you say, but how you made them feel. And one of the key feedback I got from Men's Monday, which is the men's community that I do every single Monday, was that they felt connected, that they felt they were seen. They felt they were heard because they were able to see me and where I was at in life, which may be to some of them somewhere aspirational, but hear the story behind how I got there and hear it from a biblical context and hear it from other guys in the community and really gather um, encouragement. So I really want to echo this point of authenticity because we're in an age where real recognises real. You know, I, I, I'm so, I'll tell my wife, I'm so amazed that even with the whole TikTok phenomena right now, where I, I was expecting to see grand, you know, 4K, you know, uh, just like cinematic videos, but the things that are going viral, the things that are catching momentum are all authentic posts of people being real people. And I think we're in a time where people just wanna, just wanna hear real stories. You know, I really think we're in the age of the storyteller uh, and whatever narrative that we can present, which I hope will be the truth, uh, is what will essentially reach our audience. So I really wanna empower you guys to, if you're gonna think about reaching an audience in whatever way you're doing it online and in person, authenticity has to be the underlining pin. Authenticity. Time is short. So I'm gonna stop there and go to my next point. My next point is be consistent. Be consistent. This is where my audience in 412 Men on Men's Monday became a community. Um, we was doing it every two weeks on a Monday and it was okay. There was about five, 10 guys in the cafe coming, but then I just felt like around June, um, it was Father's Day, I feel, I feel you know, this month, Let's just do it every week. We want to talk about daddy issues. We want to talk about father issues. We want to go in a bit more deeper. And we saw a momentum of doing it every single Monday. And obviously, I would agree that the topic we was doing was very catchy, very um, hard-hitting, very close to home. We saw that group of 10 people go into 20, 30, like to the point whereby we get like on average, like 40 guys on a Monday after work in London, a bridge, at the Pret Cafe talking about life. Um, and I saw that the consistency was helping build a community. Uh, so I saw that if I'm gonna make what I'm doing something meaningful, substantial, something that goes beyond a one-time experience, there has to be consistency. I have to keep showing up. There has to be a place where men know that if I come here on a Monday, I'm going to hear this. And that was what I believe was a transition of reaching an audience and becoming a community. Even the word community speaks of, you know, common values, unity, you know, community, communing together. There was something 
powerful about the consistency of gathering together. You know, the, the Bible even says that, don't forsake the gathering of the saints. Continue to encourage each other into doing good work. So community finds um, it is bread and butter. It's, it's cementing. It's foundation in there being a consistency and there being a common theme. Because even the guys that come to me on Monday, just to even give you a bit more insight, they're all guys from different walks of life. Some of them weren't even saved. Some of them um, were just interested in, in the faith, but were concerned about manhood. We have all types of guys from creatives to corporate name it claim it the age grade the age range was from like 25 to like 45 to so different ages some married some divorced single that everything but there was a common value a unity that we had and it was all centered around the man jesus and manhood and that was what's, what allowed us to continually come together despite our different walks and being in a place where i was very much invested in it being authentic it being a real safe space it being a place where where there's no, it's judgment free zone what what's the, what, what we say in the room stays in the room that that built a place where people were able to know that i can come here take off the cape take off the superman Put, you know, show the clock kink, you know, not leave with shame or guilt, but leave there encouraged and edified. So I really want to encourage you guys. Let there be a consistency in what you intending to build in that community and let it run through on a regular basis, on a regular basis. My next point is that, Actually, you know what? Let me go back to the other point, actually. I want to just echo this part, this last point as well. Um, community requires quality, relative, and consistent communication. And this communication part, for me, and hopefully for you, is just the vehicle in where I was expressing what I was doing on Men's Monday, which was being authentic, share my story, and let other guys do it. The reason why I'm saying quality and relative is that people buy into what they value and i believe that as people we value quality things you know quality food quality whatever you value you want to have it to the best quality available and people are, are more inclined because how 412 grew was that people were now sharing their experiences with their other friends and we just grew through word of mouth we had social media and all that sort of stuff but it was word of mouth so but that was the relative point of view where people could relate to what was happening and also consistency like i mentioned before is the main bread and butter that allows that thing to be a place where people know that they can come here every monday and thereby you know consequently build a community and relationship with other men so that's really key um, in building a community last but not least um covid happened and we were about three years old uh we were meeting every monday like i said and i say every monday guys i mean every single monday for the whole year i set back holidays we were meeting up and covid happened and covid meant you had to switch up everything we're doing um and i think even if i look at the heartbeat of what stronger digital is trying to relay and do is that it's, it's trying to um, prepare us in a time of transition we're in right now, um, in a time of a reset, in a time where, you know, life is not the same it was two years ago, where we can remain relevant and effective. And I think the key to this is to be innovative. Um, and so we had to go online. We all had to go online. <laughs> uh, we had to, we, 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 we played with Zoom. Zoom got a bit, mm, we went to StreamYard, we, we tried so many different vehicles and expressions, we did Instagram Live, so forth, so forth. So there was a lot of, you know, tweak, twists and turns. We were doing it every week. Eventually everyone got online fatigue, um, but it, it was a great way for us to, to, um, to, to, to allow the force change upon us to look at how are we going to do what we did physically um, to the best quality that we can, digitally and still remain relevant and effective and you know by god's grace it it, it worked it grew um, we were able to have a much wider reach and whatnot but um I, I felt like and even now if i'm still honest i'm still on an innovation point where i'm just like okay the guys are telling me that they want stuff online but 
They're tired of being online because they're online for work, they're online for this, they want to do it in person. And there's this great tension now where I don't feel we should invest in more than one than the other, i.e. digital and um, physical. So we're in a space right now where our new strategy now is that we're going to look at having our meetings once a month, because that's, that's what's feasible for us right now on a Monday, but we're looking to supplement that physical meetings with online spaces like Twitter, um, like um, Twitter spaces, sorry, um, like Instagram lives. And, and in doing so, we believe that we're still maintaining relevant and effectiveness with our community. And we're also reaching audiences through the beautiful, you know, uh, um, viral nature of social media, where we're still able to evolve and 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 we're still able to now you know become something bigger than what we what we envision. Thus, by maintaining um, th- being true, sorry, to what it is that we're about, which is building communities and reaching audiences. So, I really want you guys to have a mindset that this is the place where whatever you built community wise, and whatever and whoever you're reaching as an audience, this innovation part is where those areas can now evolve and grow and become something much more greater than you think. This is the point where you either plateau and diminish or you ascend and grow higher. So I really want to um, encourage you guys, yes, digital proof what you're doing. And yes, let's not neglect the, the value of in-person and, and physical nature to how we reach an audience and how we also build our community. So we try to compromise on our, on our end. Every Monday right now is not feasible, um, but once a month is feasible, supplementing that with our online um, stuff, we, we now we're gonna really, we're gonna really say um, a, a, a podcast next month, which is gonna be online orientated, but also supplemented with conversations in our WhatsApp group, with our Twitter spaces and so forth. So I want you guys to try and error in this area because that's the only way we're gonna grow by really seeing what we've built community-wise and how we're reaching an audience. We're gonna see that stuff, really find um, its growth, its relevance and effectiveness through being innovative. So I'm going to end there. Um, and I want to thank you all for being here today. Hopefully there's room for some questions. Um, if not, feel free to um, hit me up um, by Ayokunu. Um, I'm on um, all socials, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, uh, what's the other ones? Wherever you, that's right, my name. My name's unique. You can't miss this name. You can't miss this face either. So you can feel free to hit me up. I'm more than happy to um, answer questions and help support where I can. But Stronger Digital, thank you for having me. I want to thank you all for having me. And um, yeah, God bless you and take care.